extremely busy working on a project that God has laid on our hearts. And I am excited to show you guys what we have so far. <laughs>
Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. Thank you so much for the support with my last video. Amazing. Thank you, guys. I wanted to uh, drop this video um, just to explain why we decided to build an estate style. One of the main reasons why we decided to do an estate style of building um, is really for community. Listen, we've lived in a place for over 20 years where there is no sense of community. Okay, it's a very individualistic country that we live in. And it's really him for himself, you for yourself, one for himself, whatever that combination is. Um, you are on your own. I mean, let me give you a scenario. You have pipes that burst in your home, okay? And you're screaming and yelling for somebody to come in and help you and nobody shows up. Imagine stepping out of your home. You're literally running through the neighborhood, knocking on doors, asking for help, and nobody shows up at your door. That is the kind of community we live in, okay? Where people will watch your kids walk across the street and will say nothing because it's more like, hey, I'm minding my business. Eventually, you have two fire service trucks. You have police cars, about four of them lined up in your yard, and there's no neighbor. There's a ton of homes around you. But there's no neighbor showing up. Everybody's looking at what is going on through their window. This is the kind of country we live in. Okay. So when we thought of building in Ghana, our focus was really to build community. We wanted you to come out and see your neighbor. You know, we don't want to live in a world where people just don't care. You have a child that is drowning in a pool and everybody's on their phone sitting and minding their business. That is just not reality. And so this is what we wanted this estate to afford people, a sense of community, a sense of belonging. You know, I have neighbors. I have people who will look out for me um, and ensure that I'm, I'm safe. And on that note, the second reason being safety, security. Security is key for us, right? When you own a home, you want to be safe in your home. You don't want uh, the case where people can easily get access to your home and harm oh. you. If not harm you, take your possessions, right? an estate, we believe it's going to afford you that safety because you have neighbors around you. Okay. Picture this. You're not in a home with a huge plot of land that you are living on by yourself. If somebody invades your home, you are on your own pretty much. However, in our opinion, if you live in an estate, you have about five, you have three, you have 20 neighbors. Okay all in that enclosed space. And so it's going to be very hard, additionally hard for an armed robber to be successful in this kind of a scenario, because not only are you dealing with one person, you're dealing with multiple homes and um, everybody's looking out for each other, okay? So that, that, that was one of the main reasons why we chose this style of building. Your goal is to have top-notch security, um, especially if you are a family with children. You want to make sure that your children are safe, that they can easily just open the door and walk out of the house. It's in an estate setting, the child will have to go through security to even make their way out of the estate. So that is an additional level of security that the estate provides to you as a family. Whereas in a single family home, your child can just open up the door and off they go. So it affords a level of security, not just for families, but also for single people who just want to have some peace of mind and not have to worry when they go to sleep at night. Another reason we decided to do an estate style is we feel like you get more for your money. Um, not everybody who builds a single family home is able to afford amenities like a pool, 
right? Or a space where you can just relax. A lot of times when you look at homes in Ghana, the house itself is big enough to take up the entire space. So you do not necessarily have a space that you can relax in or have a pool. What an estate will afford you is it gives you more for your money, which essentially saves you more money, right? When you look at the design of our estate, you are getting several amenities that comes with this estate, okay? You get in services like security services. You get in amenities like a pool. You also, in this particular case, get access to a clubhouse in the phase two of our building. Okay, so you really are getting more for you your money. You also have services like electricity, which is already, you know, taken care of for you. You have water supply, which is already taken care of for you. You have a road that is already done for you. You don't have to necessarily think about all these things when you buy in an estate because it's already done for you. Whereas if you build in your own house, these are other additional costs that you would have to think of, okay? So when you look at your price, you really have to think to yourself, is this worth it? And you have to remember to include all these different services that I've mentioned, water supply, electricity supply. Um, in our case, we're going to have a provisioning for solar panels, um, a road that is already done and tarred. You know, you have, in this case, a swimming pool, a relaxation area. You have additional visitors parking lot. Not to mention you have security already built in. Even if you have to pay a fee for that security because you live in an estate, that service is already taken care of by somebody for you. These are services that you'd get in just because you purchased in an estate. And you may not necessarily have access to all of these benefits if you you uh, built your own home or if you lived in a single family home because you would have to provision for all these additional services. Another reason why we chose the estate planning is really for organization. It's just going to be clean. The level of organization will be top notch because, you know, houses are planned specifically to look a certain way. Homes are not going to be built the way they want to be built. It has to follow a certain pattern. And so there isn't the, the, the issue of you dealing with, oh, you built on my side of the land and you know somebody's house is literally in the road and the road is on tarred. You don't have to deal with things like that because the real estate company takes care of the organization because we want that estate to look a certain way. You know, people are not just going to paint their homes any color at all. Um, you don't want to walk on a street where one house is blue, another one is orange, another one is green. When you live in estates, every home has to look a certain way um, to bring uniformity, to bring that aesthetic look. The other thing I want to mention is um, certain privileges by law um, that a real estate company might have an individual may not necessarily have the same right, okay? So you are secured in the sense that you don't have to deal with things like land disputes and possibly losing your land because the um, understanding is that real estate company has already taken care of that business, right? That real estate company has already taken care of anything land related. They've dealt with the government, they've dealt with the chiefs, whoever they need to deal with um, to get the land secured, it's done by that company. So that is not something that as an individual you would have to worry about. Whereas if you bought land and built your own home, that is all on you. I hope you find this video helpful. Um, the goal was really to walk you through why we decided to do an estate style um, building. And if you are somebody who came on here and said, hmm, I'm not quite sold on why I should purchase a unit in an estate. I really wanted my big house on a big land all by myself. Um, hopefully this has given you some um, you know, insight into what an estate could afford you and why it could have some great advantages. So 
Thank you all for watching. Thank you for supporting. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out to us at the African Legacy at yahoo.com or visit our website, theafricanlegacy.com and book a consultation with us to see if we can help answer any questions you may have. Until next time, guys, be kind and listen. Listen to one another because it really, really, really does make a whole lot of difference. Be safe. Bye.